Hey y'all, it's Aubrey. Um, it's almost two o'clock in the morning, and as you can see, I'm in bed, pajamas, no makeup, all that. And um, if a little head pops up over here, it's because my cat is sitting on me. I kind of feel like Dr. Evil sitting here petting him <laughs> while I'm talking to y'all. The reason I'm doing this vlog is it's a sort of explanation uh, I guess for the past few weeks um, I feel I've, like I've neglected the blog I've fallen behind on um, doing um, swatches and reviews of products that um, especially indie makers have sent me um, and things and I just wanted to kind of um, give an explanation I guess and I know that some people think that I am putting myself out there too much and sharing too much um, but y'all follow me for a reason whatever that is, um, each and every one of you. And I feel like I owe you, I guess, because I appreciate it more than y'all could possibly know. Um, y'all inspire me. Y'all give me something to, to work for, I guess, to do this for. Um, you make me smile, <laughs> and that's always important when you have battles to fight, right? So, um, each and every one of us has battles. Um, each and every one of you, I know that you have battles, whether it's chronic illness or single motherhood or a special needs child or a deployed spouse or trying to you know split your life between a career and a, you know motherhood and you know I've been there and it's not easy and anyway I'm rambling um I guess I'm trying to put off my explanation. The past few weeks have been tough around my house. Um, I know that most of y'all know that my daughter Alana has Asperger's. Um, so that makes things difficult anyway. Um, things have been difficult, you know, um, and different with her um, since she was a baby really but um she was also diagnosed with ODD um, oppositional defiant disorder several years ago and I never made an issue of it because I saw it as an excuse I guess I, I thought if if she knew about it or if I didn't want to give her an excuse for her bad behavior or the meltdowns or whatever. Um, anyway, over the summer, the ODD has gotten worse and worse and worse. And I know that it's tied to her anxiety because her anxiety is as bad as mine. And if y'all have been following me for any amount of time, you know that my anxiety gets pretty bad. Um, I have a panic disorder and um, have had for a long time and it's it ebbs and flows you know depending on situations but um, you know when I was a kid they didn't diagnose anxiety in kids but she, you know, it comes with the territory with Asperger's. So I know how hard it is to deal with anxiety as a neurotypical. And I can't imagine dealing with it 
with her Aspie brain that can't filter out all of the the stuff that all the stuff you know that overstimulates her she can't filter it out like we can um, you know when I'm having a panic attack I can't filter it out and she lives each day that way and I know that part of those the meltdowns are triggered by that I know that the ODD meltdowns tend to get triggered by that because yeah I made I've made the connection over the past few weeks and um over the past few weeks um I've also been dealing with on my end um sleep issues where I tend to not be able to sleep at night, which is why I'm up at two in the morning talking to y'all. And then I either take naps during the day or I sleep all day while the kids are at school. Or or sometimes I'll sleep all night and then the kids go to school and I sleep all day and I've been passing out here and there, um, especially when I get really emotional or anxious or something. So when I went to the sleep specialist, um, because we're pretty certain I have apnea um, now, he um, said that he suspects I also have narcolepsy, um, which, you know, would suck but it's treatable right so I don't I don't know my sleep studies in a couple of weeks so I guess we'll have some answers then but anyway um the, I guess what I'm trying to say is my sheer exhaustion has been why I've neglected the blog for a couple weeks now. It's why I haven't been able to keep up with my swatching and reviewing and writing and stuff. I, you know, I'll have some energy to do a few videos, um, you know, in the evenings after the kids go to bed if I've had a good evening with Alana. If I have not had a good evening, then nothing gets done. <laughs> But it's a battle, and we're fighting it, and we're making some changes as a family, and we're we're going to get through it. We've got some hopefully positive changes coming up and we're fighting this thing um, I can talk to Alana about stuff like this and and she um, she's so smart and you, I can talk to her in a way that you can't talk to a typical eight-year-old and she understands and And, you know, I, I tell her, we're going to get through this, you know, we're going to work together and we're going to, we're going to do this. We're going to get through it because we all have stuff to fight. Every last one of us has something. We all have stuff. We all have stuff. So, 
that's me. That's what's been going on with me. And it's been hard. It's been emotional. It's been chaotic. It's been just insane. <laughs> I can't even begin to tell y'all. But we're fighting. And we'll win, no matter what, because that's what we do. We're fantabulous, just like all of y'all. We keep fighting, no matter what the battle is. You keep you can't win if you don't keep fighting. So. There's times when you want to give up. There's times when you want to just lay down and just stop. But you can't. Because it's life. So anyway, I'm rambling again. That's what 2 o'clock in the morning will do to you. <laughs> But I want to tell each and every one of y'all thank you from the bottom of my heart for following me, for subscribing, for liking my Facebook page. I'm almost up to a thousand likes on there. I mean, my blog just started at the beginning of June, so I'm thrilled with that. Um, I just, I, I thank y'all so much. Um, I hope that what I do gives somebody some inspiration somewhere along the way. And... I hope that you all know that no matter how hard it gets, you're a warrior. You're a fighter. You are fantabulous. And you've got somebody in your corner. And if you ever need to vent about what's going on, I'm here. Find me on Facebook. PM me on Twitter. You know, whatever. Just find me. Because I know about battles. I've got all the scars. So, that's my middle of the night event. <laughs> um, I hope y'all have a fantabulous day whenever you watch this. And I hope you'll continue following me um, despite the um, neglect on the blog and beyond but um i'm planning on this week getting some good reviews on there i've got a collection a halloween collection of hollows from philly loves lacquer that i'm so excited to get up there and um some makeup reviews as well as i'm hoping to get my first throwdown thursday post up there so be on the lookout for those and I will talk to y'all later. Stay fantabulous. <laughs>